Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the use and functionality of a patch I've created for Max MSP. It's called AmbiPlay, and it's designed as a quick and easy way for you to take your encoded Ambisonics WAV files and play them back through a variety of standard 2D speaker arrays. <laughs> This is the main window, which renders the patch down into a handy, easy-to-use tool with a clean and minimal graphic user interface. To get started, simply navigate to an encoded Ambisonics file and drag and drop it into the indicated area. Following this, select the applicable encoding settings, including the sample rate, order, and encoding. In my case here, the default settings are already pretty close, so we only need to change our encoding to FUMA. Next, simply select your desired speaker output from the drop-down box, turn on the audio processing, raise the volume a touch, being a bit gentle with it in this case, and hit play. You can also stop and resume playback from that spot as you wish. Meanwhile, the play button will always start playback from the very beginning of the file, and you can use the included navigation bar to skip around in your file if you only want to listen back to a specific part or want to check other parts. Finally, you can create your own presets by diving into the patch guts a bit and editing them. You can also adjust an existing preset by simply clicking and dragging speakers around in the speaker output monitor. AmbiPlay also includes some optional keyboard controls to make functionality of this tool even more simple. While you can absolutely click on the buttons in the patch, with the keyboard enabled, you can also use your return key as play, your escape key as stop, in your spacebar as resume. Let's take just one more moment to run through that process again with a higher order file just to demonstrate how easy this tool is to use. Simply drag and drop, select your applicable settings, select your speaker arrangement if necessary, enable audio processing, raise the volume, and hit play. The final feature included with AmbiPlay is particularly useful if you want to quickly create decoded versions of an Ambisonics file for any reason. Start by following the previous instructions to prepare your file for playback. Then, tick the box marked Record. Enter your desired file name and select WAVE. Then, recording will start as soon as you click save from the dialog window, so hit play and stop the recording when the desired recording is finished. If we check the new file that we just created, we can see that it's automatically saved the recording as an 8-channel audio file. The channels of that file will be assigned based exactly as the speaker routing is set for playback. For example, if you set up playback in Quadraphonic, the recording functionality would automatically save a four-channel file with routing identical to the speaker display in the main patch. We can verify this file saved correctly by opening it up in an applicable digital audio workstation as seen here in Reaper. Thanks for your attention. Feel free to download this patch for your own use at the link included in the description and be sure to read the short readme file for some additional information. Have fun with Ambisonics, and go make some noise.